YouTube and Snapchat and fuckers, welcome back to another episode of your favorite show, The Friday Wrap Up. Well, we got a hell of a show today. So, uh, before we get started, I want to tip my hat to today's libation. Uh, I didn't go too crazy this week. I mean, that 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 rum old fashioned was delightful last week, but um, this week I figured I'd give a little shout out to some of the local boys. Uh, Montauk Brewery. If you've never had a Montauk beer. You're really missing out. I mean, I know Yingling is always my go-to, but you know something? For a local brewery, Montauk Brewery's got it where it's at. Uh, this is the Summer Ale, last remnants of summer, but don't worry. They have a nice golden pilsner. They have assorted IPAs for you freaks that like IPA. And, and for the fall, they have a pumpkin beer. But, you know, still a little summery out. I know, I know. I said Labor Day is the cap for the summer, and it is. But I had one left in the fridge, so... I figure, what the hell? I mean, it is a good cold beer, and it goes down nice and smooth, and you can't go wrong with that. Um, you should definitely check out the brewery out in Montauk. It's uh, not a big brewery. They have a small tasting room, but it is pretty cool. Um, so, <clears throat> And you can grab all the seafood you want. So, salute to drink up and be somebody. <sighs> oh, that's good. Just look at the color of that. I mean, that's a beautiful... That's a beautiful summer rail if I've ever seen one. Cold and refreshing. Okay, so what a week. Labor Day is finally behind us. Like I said, the summer's over. For all of you stragglers out there, we got a couple of warm days left, so enjoy them. Uh, well, I hope everybody had a nice, safe, and uh, productive Labor Day weekend. I, uh, I, Rosie and I were out, out and about this weekend, uh, so it was nice to uh, put my knees in the breeze. But uh, so the other night... I think it was Friday, Saturday. I don't remember what night it was now, but I went out to uh, to one of the, you know, the beach bars on the island, <clears throat> and as I was leaving, you know, it was probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, so there wasn't a lot of cars on the road, and you know, I, I'm pulling out of the parking lot, I'm pulling onto the highway, not a fucking car on the road, I swing out, I hop into the right lane, I move over to the left lane, and just as I do that, okay... I don't know what the hell, I hear this sound, and I look in my side view mirror, and there's a fucking guy barreling at me, he was on it, he didn't see me, he had, he had his fucking foot to the floor, I sw it just happened so fast, I, I mean, he, I hear him lock up his brakes, and he's still coming at me like a fucking torpedo, so I swing out into the right lane, just as he blows past me, I mean, he missed me by inches, inches, he hits the shoulder and skids and fucking sprayed gravel at me all the way from the right lane and then takes off. Son of a bitch came this close to taking me out. So, you know, I fucking nailed it and went after him. But he jumped on the Robert Moses Causeway and I didn't feel like fucking following him. But I got his plate number. Should I ever run into this motherfucker again? Him and I are going to have a very unpleasant conversation. Anyhow, uh, on a lighter note, I did run into a friend. This is a funny story. Now, I'm not going to tell you her name because she'll fucking kill me if I do. But I, I, when she told me this story, I couldn't stop fucking laughing. I said, I got I to gotta tell you guys. Okay. So I run into a friend of mine. I, I'm pretty sure it was the same night. So it had to be maybe Friday night, right after the show. So I run into a friend of mine. Now, she was dating some guy. Uh, and I hadn't seen him in like a month or so. And last time I saw her, she was with this fucking guy. He didn't look. He looked a little off to begin with. So anyhow, so I run into her, she's with her sister. I says, hey, what happened to the to the guy you were, you were with? So her sister starts laughing. She says, oh, you got to tell him the fucking story. So she proceeds to tell me what happened. So, <laughs> now, keep in mind, these are not young people. They're like in their like early 50s, like 51, 52 years old, okay? I mean, there has to come a time when you, you know, you got to grow up a little bit. But anyhow... So she's with this guy, they're getting it on, you know, and uh, he asks her to ring his back doorbell. Now, she's got small hands, so I don't know if she's one finger, two fingers, or if she shoved the whole fucking hand up there, but she, like, she, she told me she finger blasted him in the ass. <laughs> the guy fucking, he lost his shit. <laughs> and she said when, he, when she was done... He cleaned himself up. He, he didn't say, he got real quiet. He cleaned himself up. He got up. He started getting dressed. And she looked at him. She said, are you okay? He says, I got to go. And he just left. She says, didn't hear from him for two days. So she texted him. And he says, listen, I can't talk to you or, or, or see you anymore. 
She, 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 she said, I don't know what the fuck happened. I, so I started laughing. I said, well, what the fuck did you do? Stick your entire arm up there? <laughs> she said, but he asked me to do it. I said, first of all, you changed the direction of this guy's entire life. 50 fucking two years old. And he just realized he's a fruit. I said, yeah. she said, but he asked me. I said, let me tell you. Let me give you guys a piece of free advice. And say to her. If a guy asks you to ring the back door bell, He's, uh, he's teetering on the fucking edge, okay? He's a little confused, okay? Straight guys don't do that, okay? It's exit only for us, okay? The ones that are a little fucking confused, they want a little, you know, they want a little something in the fresh galette there. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> so she was she was shocked as well. Now you know, next time a guy asks you to ring the doorbell, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> So, like I said, we got a hell of a show. So, I'm going to kick it off with the Hokel Hoedown. So, our illustrious governor, Kathy Hokel, uh, toured Queens with Joe Biden this week. Because Biden was, you know, I, I guess he wants to, you know, take away from the fact that he screwed up the whole Afghanistan thing. So, he was, he was touring New Jersey and New York to see the storm damage. Because they don't want him down to fuck Louisiana. So he went to Jersey, he got mocked, and then he came to Queens, and he toured Queens with Kathy Hochul. Because apparently, 17 fucking people drowned in a basement in Queens. Now, I don't know if this was 17 separate people, or if it was 17 people in the same fucking basement. <laughs> but So he, he went to, I don't know what the fuck he, he, he was going to do there. I mean, but how do you drown in your fucking basement? That's what I don't understand. I mean, I know there was flooding, but it didn't just magically appear. It's not like a fucking dam broke or nothing. It was rain. I, I mean, how do you not know you're wet? How does this even happen? Okay? So he went he went to Tor Queens because 17, 17 fucking retards drowned. Okay? <laughs> but, you know, he figured that'll take away, you know... That'll take away from what he did in Afghanistan. So he got 13 service members unnecessarily killed, but he was concerned about 17 morons that don't know how to get out of a fucking wet basement. I mean, what the fuck? You don't know how to use a door? Okay? Holy shit. I mean, 17 people drown in a fucking basement. I mean, these couldn't be smart people. It's not like they were Marines and Navy, Navy and Army personnel. It's not like they were contributing anything to society. If you drown in a fucking basement, you know something? You're not the brightest bulb in the fucking box. Okay? It's not really a big loss. I gotta tell you. Uh, <laughs> another hokel related news. Get this shit. Okay? So, I, I, I'm going with you. So, a segue from this fucking rainstorm that we had last week. Okay? Hokel then turns around and signs a bill on Wednesday requiring that all vehicles sold in New York State uh, become zero emissions vehicles by 2035. And this is supposed to begin in 2025. So in other words, after 20, between 2025 and 2035, okay, they're going to phase out gas-powered vehicles. So after 2035, the only vehicles that can be sold in the state of New York are electric vehicles. Let that sink in for a second. So... They're saying because of the he because of climate change, this is where this is going. The, the climate change is causing causing heavy rains, and because seventeen idiots fucking drowned in a basement, now you can't drive a gas powered car. Okay, so she wants to phase out phase out fucking gas powered cars in the state of New York. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Okay, okay. I this is like this is like that shit what Cuomo did with the fucking plastic bags and the straws. A fucking whale got a bag stuck in its head, and we can't have. You gotta go to the supermarket now and pay for paper. You can't get a fucking paper straw, a plastic straw anywhere in New York City, okay? Because a turtle got a fucking straw stuck up its nose. So because seventeen jerk offs drowned in a basement, now you can't drive a fucking gas powered car. Uh, this 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 is ridiculous. Okay, this is why this this is fucking beyond stupid. What a okay. You're going to put every fucking mechanic in New York State out of business. They don't know how to fix these fucking cars. They break. They don't know how to fix them. They don't require oil changes or anything else. So you get Jiffy Lubes and all the other bullshit. Half of them are going to fucking close. Okay? So that's that. Secondly, you're going to put fucking ga gas stations out of business. Okay? So if there's no gas-powered cars, what are you going to do? 
plug your fucking car in, your electric bills are going to go through the goddamn roof. You're going to be paying over $1,000 a month to fucking get an electric. Think of how many cars the average household has. One, two, three cars. So you're going to have to have plug-in stations installed for all three of them. Do you have any idea what your fucking electric bills are going to look like? This is this is beyond fucking insane. Insane. And of course, you know, all the fucking minerals to make the batteries and the solenoids and these things come from the Middle East and China. So, you know, you're going to go pay a fucking $85,000 for a fucking Tesla versus twenty five dollars for a Honda? I mean, what is what is wrong with these fucking people, okay? What is wrong with these people? I, I, I hope to God. A fucking Republican with a functioning brain becomes governor in the next election and fucking gets rid of this, repeals this fucking bill. This is just the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. It's beyond, it's beyond fucking ridiculous. Okay, so that's that's Hulkle week three. This bitch is, is, is an even bigger fucking retard than Cuomo. So, you COVID special report. Well, Biden today announced that he's going to be implementing mandates. COVID mandates are coming, kids. All right? This is just the tip of the iceberg. Right now, they're focusing on schools, um, Head Start schools, anybody receiving federal funding or whatever, but they're requiring masks, vaccinations, weekly testings. Wait, tip of the iceberg. This is going to fucking get worse. So keep an eye on the show. More on this uh, as, as it happens. So, another... Biden blunder. So the UK and the United States are apparently feuding over how Joe Biden fucked up the Afghanistan withdrawal. Apparently, the Brits are beyond fucking pissed at Biden, okay? And rightfully so. And Joe Biden refuses to return British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's phone calls. Matter of fact, one Brit cabinet member even went as far as to call Biden a doolally. Now, a doolally is a British way of saying deranged and feeble-minded. <laughs> and you know something? That is a perfect adjective to describe Joe Biden. Joe Doolally Biden. So, I bet they missed the. I bet they missed the fuck out of Trump. Now, I mean, <laughs> say what you want about the guy. His foreign policy better than anybody's. Okay. You didn't have to like him, but you damn well better believe they fucking respected him. Now, get this shit. The leaders, the, the, the fucking, the leaders of the new Taliban government are Al-Qaeda terrorists that Obama released from uh, Guantanamo uh, in exchange for deserter, uh, Bo Burkle, whatever the fuck his name, he was, a, he was a deserter. So they had him as a hostage, and uh, he exchanged five leading Taliban members for this one fucking U.S. deserter. And now those same five terrorists that were released from Gitmo are now the fucking ruling ministers of the new Taliban government. Good job, Barry. So, and, and, you know, and, and the fucking Biden administration is so fucking dumb. Okay, instead of worrying about the fact that you now have hardened criminals, terrorists with bounties on their head even still in charge of a government with our weapons, they're concerned about the lack of fucking female diversity in the new Taliban government. But are you fucking serious? Okay? It's the goddamn Taliban. Are they all fucking retarded? I mean, let me, let me put this in perspective. The Taliban don't like women. They're not allowed to leave the house unsupervised. They have to have their faces covered. They're not allowed to work. They're not allowed to fucking do anything. But yet, the Biden administration is concerned of lack of diversity in a fucking terrorist government. These, you know something? These are elected people. Mm. These are the people that are in charge of shit. That's just how fucking retarded they are. Okay? You should be embarrassed if you're a Democrat because you voted these fucking people in. I mean, granted, they didn't get in legitimately, but you still fucking voted for them. So you should be embarrassed if you're a fucking Democrat that these are the retards that are running the country. Kind of concerned that the Taliban aren't the first to fight enough. They're shooting fucking women in the head in the middle of the street, okay? But they don't have anybody, anybody in the ruling cabinet. I mean, listen, people make mistakes, I get it. If you're a Democrat and, you know, you're starting to see the area of your ways, that's fine. Just don't tell anybody. 
Okay, don't tell anyone you're a Democrat. You might get throat punched. All right? Holy shit. Okay, kids, get your tickets out. Get ready. We got a long trip to, on the crazy train today. All aboard! Crazy train's leaving the station. Woo-hoo! First stop, New York City. Okay, just when you thought Muppet Hands couldn't get any more fucking ridiculous, he tops himself again. He's attempting to plan a gubernatorial run in the upcoming governor's election. You met, it, the, the, the Democratic Party's like a mad dash for the fucking primary in New York. So he's planning... <laughs> He's planning to throw his hat in the governor's ring. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Who wants this fucking lurch in Albany? Okay, he got he tried he tried to run for president. They weren't having it. Okay, now he wants to run for fucking governor. I mean, he destroyed New York City. Can you imagine the kind of damage he did to an entire state? All right. I mean, I guess he figures he can't be any worse than Cuomo because he doesn't touch women. I mean, in his free time, he's usually home getting pegged by his wife, but. God, dick. Governor Muppet Hands. That's a fucking terrifying thought. Thankfully, <laughs> that's probably going to die on a fucking vine. All right, next stop, New Jersey, just over the bridge, the land of no left turns. Rutgers University bars an unvaccinated student from attending vi uh, virtual classes. You heard me. I'll say it again. Rutgers bans an unvaccinated student from attending virtual classes. But if we all lost our motherfucking minds, okay? I mean, the kid is attending a class on Zoom, all right? Who gives a fuck if he's got a vaccine or not? You can't get COVID through a computer, okay? I, pre I, I don't think you need to be a fucking medical doctor or some kind of a fucking bioengineer or scientist of any kind. You can't get... The COVID, the, the wolf flu, true zoom. Sorry. Okay? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, follow the goddamn science, you fucking liberal fucktards. Okay? So, <coughs> so, to attend the virtual classes, apparently you need to be vaccinated, but mm, pants are optional. Uh, next stop, Florida, the Sunshine State. Okay, so last week I was telling you guys about a diner in Florida that posted a sign that said, if you're a Biden supporter, you're not welcome here, right? And, of course, this woman was getting all kinds of flack from fucking Biden supporters. Well, I have an update to last week's story. The diner, uh, <laughs> so apparently this diner owner has been so busy that she ran out of food. Because this, <laughs> good for her, okay? I told you, I told you, I called it on the show last week. I told you she was going to do fucking gangbusters as far as business. So you know something, for all your New York restaurateurs, if you really want to boost your sales, put the same fucking sign in your window. I guarantee you, you're going to sell out too. Now, speaking of colleges, uh, there's a new trend, sweet bean campuses during college football games this year. And I can tell you something, this is one trend that I can absolutely get behind. Spectators and students have begun chanting, fuck Joe Biden during college football games. It started in Texas of all places, but it's, it's catching on from campus to campus to campus. So you turn on a college football game and you know what you're going to hear? Fuck Joe Biden. Fuck Joe Biden. I like that. Okay, so they're posting videos of themselves doing this all over Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all that other shit. Okay, so this is this is good social media posting. Apparently, hopefully Joe Biden sees. I'm sure he's seen it. You know, and he probably because he look look, Jill, I'm so popular. All these all these youngsters want to have intercourse with me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retard. Next stop. Canada, our friends in the north. So a man walks into a Dairy Queen. I know what you're thinking. Is this a joke? No. <laughs> this is a fucking true news story. See, I scour the internet looking for things for you. Okay, so a man walks into a Dairy Queen in Canada and was refused service because he wasn't wearing a mask. He became so irate that he decided to unzip his pants and urinate all over the counter. Talk about being pissed off. <laughs> he went in for a blizzard and left leaving them an orange Julius. 
you imagine being the fucking person behind them? You're waiting on line to get your fucking blizzard, and all of a sudden this guy whips out his hog and starts pissing all over everything? This, this is what's going to happen. I'm telling you, this is not going to be an isolated incident. People are fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, so next stop, the left coast, Canada. So business, uh, Canada, California, might as well be Canada. California, so Business Insider caught up with Monica Lewinsky recently. You know, the presidential cocksucker of the 90s. Um, she's calling herself a producer now. Apparently, she produced some miniseries on Hulu. And she's still producing erections, apparently, as well. And in the interview, she says that Bill Clinton should want to apologize to her. But that she doesn't need the apology. You know what this is, okay? Apparently, she's still pissed off about the dress. Okay, I mean, what the fuck else is he going to apologize to you for? All right, so he, he spilled a little bit on your dress. Get over it. Okay, the dry cleaners can get that out. If not, I'm sure you could get another blue, fucking blue dress. Okay, it's not like he put a gun to her head. All right, she's no fucking victim here. She willingly blew him, and now she's capitalizing on it. Good for you. Okay, so get over it. Jesus Christ, but I'll tell you this, she does look good. Okay, I mean, you know, I wouldn't kick her out of the Oval Office. Uh, I'm sure she has no trouble finding a date these days. And our last stop, Washington, D.C. So uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, more colloquially, 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 more colloquially, no, I can't even talk today, better known as AOC, uh, wants us to stop using the word woman to describe women. Um, apparently she prefers us using the term menstruating person. Well, you know, because you can't say man and woman anymore. You have, because you have men, you have trans men, you have trans women, women. So the first, so you have, you know, menstruating, menstruating person in place of a woman. That's, that's her preferred term. You know, that isn't until she realized the word begins with the word men. You know, <laughs> remember when things were fucking simple? You know, you had men and women. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me to the lyrics of a wise old song. By the way, get Glenn Miller played. Songs that made the hit parade. Guys like us, we had it made. Those were the days. And you knew who you were then. Girls were girls and men were men. Mister, we could use a man like Herbert Hoover again. Didn't need no welfare state. Everybody pulled his weight. G.R. Old LaSalle ran great. Those were the days. And for those of you that have no idea what the fuck that song is from, all in the family. Okay, probably one of the greatest TV shows ever made. And boy, man, we could use a little Archie Bunker these days, I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, your sports update. The Yankees have fallen to third place. Well, it was nice while it lasted. I hate to say this, but I told you. Uh, so much for the fucking wild card. The Phillies are still in second place, but they need to be careful as the third place Mets are closing the gap quickly. So hopefully the, uh, the Phillies, you know... Jetta had a little bit. So, uh, in other baseball news, Derek Jeter was inducted into the Hall of Fame this week. And to that I say, who fucking cares? I never liked Derek Jeter. I swear to God, lifelong Yankee fan and probably one of the only people in the world that always said Derek Jeter was an overrated fucking player. Don't get me wrong, he was a good shortstop. But, you know, all this captain shit and virtuosity bullshit... He's a fucking punk. He always was. Okay? I never liked him. And personally, the fact that they keep stepping over Don Mattingly uh, as a Hall of Fame inductee, and they put this little shit bag in there, I, I'm, not, I'm not cool with that. Mattingly was a fucking clutch Yankee. His entire career with the New York Yankees. All right, so he was sidelined for a while because of back injuries. That ain't his fault. But every time he stepped up to the plate... Donnie Baseball fucking produced. Even when the Yankees were a shit team, people came to see fucking Don Mattingly. So, you know, Mattingly should have been the captain of that fucking team, but they didn't want to have another captain because of 
what happened with Thurman Munson. And then all of a sudden, they did an about face and made fucking Jeter the captain. And now this poor bastard, Donnie Baseball, actually has to work for Derek Jeter. He's the manager of the Miami Marlins. So, you know, I, yeah, I mean, he never got his World Series ring. This poor fuck never got his ring. He retired the year before the fucking Yankees won the series in 96. But I want to, he didn't catch a fucking uh, ring with the with the Dodgers. As a matter of fact, was he a coach? No, nah, yeah, I don't think he was a coach. He missed that coaching part. With, yeah, maybe he, maybe he did get a World Series ring with the Yankees as a coach. Maybe. I could be wrong there. But nonetheless, Mattingly should have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Not Jeter. Okay. NFL regular season started on Thursday. Here we go, kids. God help us. Okay, so here's your Sunday lineup. Jets and Panthers at 1 o'clock. Broncos and Giants at 425. Saints um, and Packers also at 425. And your Monday night game for you Baltimore and Las Vegas fans, the Ravens versus the, versus the Raiders. So there you go, kids. Um, oh, and what the fuck is that? We're going to talk about Grimace. So, you know, Grimace from McDonald's is that age-old question. What the fuck is he? Okay. I mean, I mean, listen, McDonald's has a lot of mascots, right? You got Ronald McDonald, who's clearly a clown. The Hamburglar, who's, mildly, who's a mildly retarded person who likes burgers and has a slight case of kleptomania. Then you got Mayor McCheese as an eight-foot talking fucking cheeseburger, which is somewhat terrifying, uh, especially if you're a little, you know, high. And then you got the Fry Kids, which are, well, French fries with, that speak some kind of incoherent gibberish, clearly the product of inner city schooling. Um, myself, however, and among others, I'm sure, have always wondered what the fuck this big purple blob is. Okay, Grimace has been around as long as I can remember, and we nobody knew what the fuck he was. Was he a drop of soda? Was he some kind of like, you know, purple jizz? Like, nobody knew what the fuck he was. Well, a long time McDonald's franchisee finally cleared this up. He finally answered this age old question, and uh, here it is. You ready for it? Grimace is a big fucking taste bud. Okay? Why he's purple, who knows, okay? So, I'd love to know how many acid tabs the person who came up with this idea dropped. And why the fuck McDonald's thought that they needed a big purple taste bud with Down syndrome, I don't fucking know. But that's apparently what Grimace is supposed to be. So now, you just can all rest easy. If you see this thing on television, just know it's some kind of fucked up purple t taste bud. There you go. The Friday wrap-up is nothing if not informative and educational. So, little PSA for you kids. You know, like I said, I was out and about this weekend. So aside from almost getting killed, uh, I've seen some things. And one of the things, like I like live music, I like bands. And sometimes I'm not too sure if it's because I like the band or because I like to watch the fucking mutants that, are, that congregate. Uh, you know, people... People who go out and think they can dance, all right? You know, like doing stupid things with their hands, like pointing and, and, and shit and skipping and jumping around like a bunch of fucking idiots. Here, take a look at this. You see that? That's that's a guy I like to call feathers. He decorates his head, and I see him in various places, and he's he looks like he's having some kind of fucking. He looks like he's detoxing as he's fucking listening to music. Then there's usually like another old man I see, and somebody told this old fuck he could dance. He's like a hundred, and he you know he, he's doing this. You know th this is his move. He's rolling his foot and doing and 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 he's like about to die. Okay, first of all, stop it. You look stupid, okay? These, these fucking people, they're jumping around like a bunch of fucking idiots. Just, they're not even dancing. If you were to shut the music off, like sometimes what I like to do is I hold my ears and just watch them, and it looks like one flew over the fucking cuckoo's nest, okay? People who can dance can dance, and none of these, apparently it's a white thing, okay? White, I'll say it, white people can't dance. 
Okay? They can't. They can't fucking, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. The women look terrified. The guys are just fucking retarded. It's just, it's a shit show. Just stop it. Okay? You can't dance. Listen to the music. Enjoy yourself. Stop making yourself look like a retard. Okay? Um, even like another fucking pet, pet, video, uh, pet peeve I have is stupid fucking looking guys with pretty chicks. And it's just because I think the women have given up. There's no fucking real men left anymore, I don't think. They're either pants are too tight, their shirts are too small, they're all sensitive, they're crying, they're licking each other's assholes. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So these poor broads have no fucking choice but to subject themselves to these fucking retarded looking... First, I, I, again, I saw some, some disturbing shit. You know, I, I, I saw one woman, and she was an older woman with a younger guy, and the kid had Down syndrome. Now, they weren't like a mother-son thing. They were like a, a thing, because they were like grinding on each other, and she was letting him touch things. It was just, it was disturbing, okay? This is what I mean. You people are fucking gross. The women have given up, okay? The, the, guys, start acting like fucking guys, okay? Do everybody a fucking favor. All right, stay covid list, kids. Remember, no mask. Don't ask. Haters can kiss my ass. And who loves you, babe? It's been your Friday wrap-up, and I'll see you when I see you.